you can look at the crowd today and see that That's this right. is the pro-life generation. We need to all discern our gifts, our talents, and figure out, God, where do you want to use me in this effort? And as he shows it to us, we have to say yes. Year after year, thousands of people come and descend on Washington, D.C. and say, this must change. Just the, the momentum, and, and with this generation, we actually embrace the term social justice, and that abortion is the greatest social injustice our world has ever known. The message here is that love makes a difference. We don't need to shout at workers, we don't need to be ugly to them. A lot of workers have abortions in their past, so it's love that breaks through all of that and brings them to hope and healing. That's what they say. They specify every time. That's the approach that pierced my heart. I think in terms of the fight and the struggle that we're involved with trying to win hearts and minds, we're winning because we fight with love, we fight with prayer, we fight with example. Being a, a, a good husband and a good father, and those are things I try to be every day. Sometimes I fall short, but those are, those are the examples that we set and the, the witness that we can give to help lead this movement forward. What is 40 Days for Life, and what advice do you have for the troops on the front line? Well, 40 Days for Life is just standing up for life in front of an abortion facility. It's 40 days of prayer and fasting um, to, to save lives. We have to go out there. That's the appropriate response. It's absolutely necessary because it gives the sense of urgency that abortion requires. They're not abortions that are going to happen later this year or in five years or during the next election cycle. They happen today. It's such a blessing, not just to the people that are going in and the workers, but certainly when you're on the sidewalk praying, you are one-on-one -on -one with God. In my 40 days campaign that we had, I've never been closer to God. Your legacy uh, goes back for a long time. This is the most horrible crime you can imagine, killing children. And we've been doing it now for all these years. So we come on the anniversary of the decision and remind everybody. You know, if people feel like they're kind of alone as a pro-lifer in our very, very secular culture, you come to D.C. for March for Life and hundreds of thousands of people just like you are there and it's so energizing. The Knights of Columbus is the world's largest Catholic fraternal service organization. We have over, over two million members, and we love putting our resources to the pro-life movement. We recently donated our 1,000th ultrasound machine. We know that over 80% of women that view an ultrasound machine image of their baby choose life. We partner with pregnancy centers for our love boxes, and it's just a box of love. It has a little onesie in it that says best gift ever, and a book in it that they can read, and just really a lot of encouragement. Because we're like, let's God just love you. Yes, we're yeah, going to give you as much Jesus as possible. Yeah, and so, I love that. I'm going to give you as much Jesus yes, as possible. i got to witness to that. Tell us about okay. Life Runners. So we've got, as of right now, we have 10,277 teammates, all 50 states, 37 nations. As of last night, Australia signed up. Good day, mate. At the Dubliner. Yeah. And our biggest growth spot right now is schools, mm. which is great because that's abortion prevention. The movement is sort of a mosaic. Each person puts in their stone and you get a beautiful mosaic at the end. I don't think there's any one way to end abortion. It has to be a collective effort from everyone in the movement, working together, united together, to combat the greatest injustice of our time.